Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tip to keep on escalating to maintain Sussex brand. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have fallen short of becoming fully independent of their links to the royal family and have banked on their connection to secure public support. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could seek to bring up their feud with the royal family again and again in an escalating series of media ventures according to a marketing expert, Edward Coram James told Express.co.uk the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been heavily reliant on their royal connection but warned the couple the public would ultimately get bored with them and their complaints about the royal family. Mr. Coram James said, however, successful or not, the formula will not work indefinitely. So far, Harry and Meghan have shown that their only receipt for success relies upon reviving family feuds. Attempts that have strayed from this formula, such as their axed animated series Pearl, have largely fallen short. The difficulty is that there is only a certain amount that the royal fallout can be milked before it stops being interesting. The Go Up CEO added that, they face a choice, find another blueprint that revolves around more conventional filmmaking or keep on escalating. Was I the royal family's crisis management team? I would be betting on the latter and preparing accordingly for the long run. Was I the success team? I would be concerned that following such a route will at some point a dead end. People get bored and storylines move on. I would be advising the pivot. And a new YouGov poll appears to suggest the couple already experienced a drop in support before their new Netflix docuseries was released. In a survey of um, 1,677 adults conducted between December 7 and December 8, Prince Harry's popularity dropped by 13 points to negative 26, showing only 33% of respondents had a positive opinion of the Duke. The Duchess of Sussex suffered a similar fate, with her popularity dropped by 7 points to negative 39, with over 64% of respondents holding a negative view of the royal. The couple has been vocal in the, their criticism of the treatment they are alleged to have received at the hands of both the royal family and the British media since their relationship became public. In the second part of the series, Prince Harry went as far as alleging Kensington Palace from which both his household and Prince William's operated failed to act to remedy negative press about him and Meghan Markle. He said, I would far rather dr um, get destroyed in the press than play along with this game of this business or trading. Um, and to see my brother's office copy the very same thing that we promised the two of us would never ever do, that was heartbreaking. He also um, claimed the palace had been upset because he and his wife were stealing the limelight from more senior members of the royal family, Prince Harry said, the issue is when someone is who is marrying in, who should be a supporting or supporting act, is then stealing the limelight, or is doing a job better than the person who is born to do this. That upsets people. It shifts the balance. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.